The Snow Queen Once upon a time, there were two best friends, Kay and Gerda. They were next-door neighbors. Both the friends loved flowers, and they had planted a rose bush in their common lawn. Kay's grandmother used to tell them a story every day. One day, during the winter season, grandmother was telling them the story of the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen is a cruel witch. She can turn a person's heart into ice and make them her slaves. We must save ourselves from the Snow Queen then. Haha, <laughs> if she'll come here, I'll melt her on the fire and she'll become a water queen then. I can hear someone else laughing. Who is it? Is someone standing by the window? Kay opened the window and looked out if someone was there. It was snowing. Something entered Kay's eyes. Ah, my eyes! Following the eye, something stuck on his heart. Oh, my heart! What happened, Kay? Are you hurt? It's none of your business. Move aside. It was shocking for Gerda, as Kay had never behaved with her like this ever before. From that day, Kay started behaving strangely. He started avoiding Gerda and spoke arrogantly to her. Gerda couldn't understand Kay's behavior. One day, Kay took his sledge out. Kay, come, let's play together. No, I'm going to play with some elder boys. Kay, we are best friends. Why don't you talk to me anymore? Kay! Kay didn't pay any attention to Gerda and started moving in his sledge. Gerda tried to follow him, but he went so fast Kay. that soon he went out of Gerda's sight. Disappointed, Gerda returned home. Kay's sledge was moving fast. Suddenly, a coach with white horses appeared in front of him and dragged Kay's sledge with it. Initially, Kay enjoyed it, but later he got a bit scared. <gasps> The coach took him to a snowland. Kay saw a big snow castle in front of him. Someone got off the coach. She was the Snow Queen. Welcome to the snowland, Kay. Before Kay could say anything, the Snow Queen moved her hand on Kay's head. Her magic worked, and Kay could do nothing but follow her. The Snow Queen took Kay to her castle. Gerda waited for Kay, but he didn't return. She tried to look for him, but couldn't find him anywhere. Summer arrived. Gerda decided to find Kay and bring him back home. She spoke to Grandmother about it. You're a brave girl, Gerda. You'll surely succeed. Thank you, Grandmother. Take this mirror with you. It'll be helpful. Taking the mirror with her, Gerda started her journey in search of Kay. She walked far away from her home. On her way, she asked the birds, the animals, the trees, and the wind if they have seen Kay anywhere. Nobody had seen Kay, but Gerda didn't give up. She kept moving forward. After walking a long way, she reached near a river. Nobody was there. Gerda thought for a while and asked the river. Dear river, please tell me if you have seen my friend Kay. He has been missing. There was no answer for a while. She was disappointed and was about to leave the place. Just then, a seagull came from nowhere and sat on her shoulder. I can help you, but you should give me something first. And the bird flew away. Gerda thought it must be a message from the river. She took out her necklace and dropped it into the river. Suddenly, a boat came flowing towards her. It was empty. Gerda sat in the boat, and the boat started moving on its own. It took Gerda to another side of the river. Gerda got off the boat to find herself in front of a garden. It was a beautiful garden with various flowers. She had never seen so many types of flowers in her life. Gerda was pleased to see them. 
but she also noticed that there was no fragrance to those flowers. A lady walked towards Gerda. Welcome, little girl. Thank you. Who are you, little girl, and what brings you here? I'm Gerda, and I'm looking for my friend Kay. H have you seen him? Kay? Oh, no. I don't think so. Oh, I should leave then. Sorry if I've bothered you. Please wait. What did you say? Hey? I guess I've seen a boy passing by. Come with me, and I'll tell you what happened that day. The lady offered her some tea. Gerda told her how Kay disappeared. She expressed her doubt about the Snow Queen. <gasps> oh, the Snow Queen. She is a witch. Because of her, all my flowers have lost their fragrance. I want to teach her a lesson. After some time, the lady started combing Gerda's hair. She was holding a magical comb. Actually, the lady wanted Gerda to stay with her for longer as she was lonely. Through this magical comb, she erased Gerda's memory. Gerda fell asleep, and when she woke up, she didn't remember anything. Where am I? You are with me, dear, in my garden. The magic of the lady didn't work on Gerda's pure soul. As soon as Gerda saw the beautiful roses on the lady's hat, she remembered Kay and everything about him. I've got to find Kay as early as possible. I'll take your leave. The lady tried to stop Gerda, Gerda. from leaving, Gerda. but Gerda was firm on her decision. Gerda. She returned to the boat and sat in it. The boat started moving, but she didn't know where to go. Oh, River, please help me find the way. No sooner than she had finished with her prayer, a crow came flying to her and indicated her to go north. Gerda followed the crow for some time. She traveled through the icy sea and reached a ship. Gerda climbed up the ship. Will this ship take me to the Snow Queen's castle? A pirate girl jumped in front of Gerda. Have you lost your way, girl? You're on a pirate ship. Gerda told her everything about Kay and the Snow Queen. The pirate girl felt sorry for them. You can't take Kay out of the Snow Queen's castle. Forget him. I'll find him at any cost. I won't leave my friend in trouble. Actually, I don't have any friends, so I wanted you to stay with me. But I'm impressed with your attitude. I'll help you in finding your friends. The next morning, the pirate girl got a reindeer for Gerda. This is the fastest reindeer in the entire Snow Kingdom. She will take you to the Snow Queen's castle. Oh, thank you. Get that icy witch. Teach her a lesson of life. Gerda rode on the reindeer. After traveling for a long distance, Gerda reached at an igloo. She met an old man there. So you brought the mirror, right? Gerda was surprised to hear this. She didn't understand how the wise old man knew about the mirror. She took the mirror out and showed it to the old wise man. Will this help me win from the Snow Queen? No, this is a magical mirror. It shows the truth. Nothing but the truth. Then, the wise old man told Gerda who the Snow Queen was. When the Snow Queen was a little girl, she was kind and cheerful. Wherever she went, flowers blossomed. When she smiled, her eyes sparkled like a bright sunshine. She was unique and happy. Her name was Leela, but everyone thought that was a Leela. That's why the children were not allowed to play with Leela or speak to her. She was left alone and unhappy. Soon she started hating everything and everyone around her. And one day she made a wish. 
everyone who is mean to me shall turn into ice. Then she built an ice castle far away from everyone. She grew up all alone, without any love or joy in her life. Please don't kill her. Kill her evil thoughts. Your magic mirror will help you to do so. If you succeed in reminding her who she was, you can save your friend Kay. Gerda reached the Snow Queen's castle. She found Kay in a corner. He was making an ice sculpture. Oh, Kay! I'm so happy to see you! It's me, Gerda! Don't you recognize me? Kay? Kay looked at her, but didn't respond. Suddenly, the Snow Queen appeared from nowhere. Like everything else here, his heart has turned into ice. Go away. He is my slave now. Leave him or I'll turn you into ice too. Kay, please come back. I miss you. I've come to take you home. Let's go. Gerda's tears fell upon Kay's hand. The warmth and affection made its effect. Kay slowly started recollecting his memories. Gerda? Oh, I recognize you. I remember everything. The Snow Queen was furious to see this, and she took her magical wand out to curse Gerda. Gerda took her mirror out and held it against the curse. The curse disappeared, and then the Snow Queen looked into Gerda's magical mirror. What she saw wasn't her face. It was a face of a little girl. Suddenly, the Snow Queen turned into a little girl again. Thank you, Kay and Gerda. Thank you for reminding me about who I am. I'm now free from my evil thoughts. Kay and Gerda said goodbye to Leela and returned to their home.